Hello guys, welcome back to all about structural analysis and uh, design. So in my previous videos, I have uh, shown you how to calculate the shear force and bending moment and also how to draw SFD and BMD of a cantilever beam carrying point loads UDL and combination of both the point loads and UDL. I shall be giving the link of that particular videos in the description box. You can just check out with those videos. But uh, today's task is how to calculate shear force and bending moment of a simply supported beam carrying point load. So the first case will take the general case okay the load intensity is w which is acting at a span of l okay and then we shall go with that uh, one numerical example carrying several point loads okay so this uh, ab is a simply supported beam okay at a it is having a hinge support at b it is having roller support and uh, the load is acting exactly at mid span of l okay so the l is divided into l by 2 and l by 2 because it is acting at mid span so in cantilever there was no need to find out the support reactions okay you can just uh, start your problem from uh, the free end and you can calculate the shear force and bending moment but in this simply supported case one uh, extra thing you have to uh, draw here is free body diagram of that particular beam free body diagram is nothing but showing the reactions and the forces whatever is acting on that particular beam okay so i have shown here a free body diagram that is also known as fbb so you know that a hinge is having two support reactions one is vertical and one is horizontal but in this case i have shown only vertical here because there is no horizontal force or horizontal reaction acting on this particular beam so i have shown only vertical reaction and i have marked it as r a and the roller support is having only one reaction so one vertical reaction that is r b okay which is uh, separated by distance l by 2 and l by 2 the load intensity is w so this is just a simple free body diagram of this particular beam now the next step is to find out the reaction or the value of this r a and r b in this particular case it is very easy due to symmetry because it is acting at the mid span of that particular beam so due to symmetry the value of ra and rb is w by 2 okay so these are the support reactions these ra and rb the next step is as uh, in my usual procedure that uh, uh, writing the sign conventions of shear force and bending moment the uh, uh, the shear force which if you are taking from left hand side the upward force is positive if you are taking from uh, right hand side it is downward force is positive for bending moment if you are taking left hand side section clockwise moment is positive if you are taking right hand side section anti-clockwise moment is positive in general sagging is positive hogging is negative so in this problem we are uh, taking the section from uh, the left hand side okay so we are taking from uh, left hand side or we are moving from this uh, hinge support so we are cutting this beam for, uh, at a section uh, for a section of ac at a xx at a distance of x so what we are uh, looking if you are cutting here is only one reaction that is ra so fx is equals to ra correct only one reaction is there so if we are taking from left hand side and uh, upwards is positive so this ra is moving upwards so it is positive so ra value is w by 2 so this is the shear force next is bending moment okay so bending moment again this one reaction is uh, visible which is rotating at a distance x so mx is uh, nothing but your moment r a into moving at a distance x so r a into x r a is nothing but w by 2 into x so there are two values uh, at one is uh, x is equals to 0 and x is equals to l by 2 so c point is ending at l by 2 so that x will be l by 2 so if you substitute x is equal to 0 bending moment will be 0 and if you substitute x is equal to l by 2 the bending moment will be w l by 4 next step is to cut the uh, span at cb from left hand side again so in that case what is visible is one reaction that is this one and one force w is visible which is uh, r is acting at a distance x okay so w is acting at a distance x minus l by 2 because this uh, distance uh, from ra to w is l by 2 so x whole x minus l by 2 will be the distance this w will be acting so again shear force 
RA minus W. RA is moving upwards, so therefore it is positive because we are taking from left hand side section and W is moving downwards, so it is negative. So FX will be minus W by 2 after substituting. Then finding out the pending moment. Mx is equal to RA into X. This RA is moving at a distance X. So this uh, is moving clockwise, so RA into X minus this is moving anti-clockwise because we are taking left hand side section so minus w x minus l by 2 this distance we have to write then now uh, there will be two values again x is equals to l by 2 and x is equals to l so if you substitute x is equals to l by 2 so this uh, is the simplification of this uh, reaction then uh, you will be getting w l by 4 and if you substitute x is equals to l then again you are getting it as 0 so these are the shear force and bending moment values of simply supported beam of a general problem carrying a point load acting at a span L by 2. So now the next step is to draw the shear force diagram and bending moment diagram. So this will be the point 0. Okay. Correct. This uh, middle line is 0. So fx is equals to w by 2 at this particular point A. So this is the value of W by 2. Then no load is acting at this span. Then directly here W. So the next value of shear force is minus W by 2. So this will go downwards here and uh, it will come and meet here minus W by 2. So one part will be positive, one part will be negative. Okay. The next bending moment diagram. This is your zero reference line. Okay. So this is acting at uh, intensity WL by 4, positive. So again it is meeting at 0. So first and last values are 0. So I, uh, the value will be WL by 4. So this is your SFD and BMD of a simply supported beam. Next uh, we shall take one numerical example. So it will be more clear how to solve this problem. Okay. So I have taken again uh, simply supported beam and three point loads are acting one of 4 kN, 10 kN and 8 kN. So 1 kN, uh, 4 kN is acting at a distance 1 meter, 10 is acting at a distance 3 meters from A and 8 is acting uh, at a distance of 4 meters from point A. So again the next step will be to draw the free body diagram. What will be the reactions? Okay, so this is free body diagram of this beam. So RA and RB I have shown and I have marked the points. This whole particular beam is AB and this point is C, D and E. The first step is to find the reactions RA and RB. So before proceeding, you need to find out these values RA and RB. How to find out your uh, simple uh, engineering mechanics? Take moments about A. Okay, so this will be fixed point and uh, all the forces and reactions will be moving at particular this point A. So sigma A is equals to 0, sigma M A is equals to 0. Therefore, RB is rotating at a distance 6 meters. Okay, if, uh, we are uh, seeing this right hand side portion. So it is moving at a distance 6 meters. So RB is moving anti-clockwise. So it is RB into 6 minus 8 into 4, 10 into 3 and 4 into 1, which is equal to 0. So therefore, RB is equals to 66. Therefore, RB is equals to 11 kilonewton. Now you have to just substitute back and uh, the value of RB and get the value of RA. So RA which is moving upwards positive minus 4 minus 10 minus 8 and plus RB. So you will be getting RA is equal to 11 kilonewton. So both the reactions are having 11 kilonewton. Next step is to write again the shear force and bending moment conventions. Okay. I hope you this uh, uh, sign conventions are clear. Now we shall proceed with this problem. So we are moving from the right hand side. So we have taken the span EB, span EB, in this span we have taken and if we are cutting this at uh, any point here, only one reaction is visible that is RB is equals to 11 which is acting at a distance X for that particular cut of that section. So FX is equals to minus 11 kN because we are taking right hand side and downward force is positive. And uh, this particular force is moving upward, so it is minus 11 km. So similarly, you have to find out this uh, bending moment for this particular span. So bending moment, again, our sign convention is, if you are taking from right hand side 
anticlockwise is positive so this is moving anticlockwise at a distance x so uh, equation will be 11 into x so there are two values again so one is uh, 0 meters and one is again 2 meters so x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 2 if you substitute here the 0 meters it is 0 and at 2 meters the intensity is 22 kilonewton meter next the section de so this is the section de we are speaking about de is nothing but this section cutting from the right hand side uh, then what is visible one force is visible and one more this point load is visible that is 8 kilonewton uh, this 11 is acting at a distance x and 8 is moving at a distance of x minus 2 why because this particular span is 2 meters so x minus 2 will be the distance of this uh, span so again shear force fx is equal to minus 11 plus 8 okay so downward force is positive we are moving upward so minus 11 and this is plus 8 so then uh, uh, shear force at that particular point will be minus 3 kilonewton then again bending moment equation that is uh, mx is equal to 11x minus 8x minus 2 this is 11 is moving at a distance of x anti-clockwise positive and this 8 is moving again clockwise then it is negative 8 is moving at a distance x minus 2 so there will be two values okay x equal to 2 and x equal to 3 so at x equal to 2 if you substitute here you will be getting 22 kilonewton meter and at x is equal to 3 you will be getting 25 kilonewton meter now span cd next span this span cd now what we'll do if you are taking from this right hand side section there will be two forces and one reaction okay and if you take from left hand side there is only one reaction and one point load so the calculation will be lesser if you take the left hand side section for the span cd so what i'll be doing is i will be taking the left hand side section this section i will be taking not this section because it involves again more calculation so i have taken from left hand side from left hand side what was uh, visible only one reaction and one vertical uh, load was visible so 11 is moving at a distance x and this 4 is moving at a distance x minus 1 because this span a ac ac span is 1 meter and we are cutting here the section cd so only one reaction and one vertical load is visible and this uh, distance is 1 meter so i have shown here 1 meter so this distance will be x minus 1 so the shear force equation fx is equal to 11 minus 4 why 11 because our sign conventions if you are taking from left hand side the upwards is positive and this is moving upwards so 11 is positive and minus 4 so fx will be shear force value will be 7 kilonewton similarly bending moment equation 11x 11 which is acting at a distance x so our sign convention is left hand side clockwise positive so 11 x is clockwise so positive and this is moving anti-clockwise at a distance x minus 1 4 into x minus 1 this is negative so again there will be two values at x equal to 3 and x equal to 1 why x equal to 3 because we are finding these uh, for this span cd so this span cd is consists 3 meter and 1 meter so 1 meter value and 3 meter value so at x equal to 3 if you substitute here you will be getting 25 kilonewton meter and at x equal to 1 you will be getting 11 kilonewton meter so again one note with red pen i have written section is taken from left hand side for spans cd and ac so because the uh, calculations will be lesser if you take from left hand side that's why i have taken or i have uh, I am convenient to take from left hand side we are free to take right hand side also only remember there will be more forces to consider and the last remaining span is ac again i am taking from left hand side only one reaction is visible which is acting at a distance x so directly fx is 11 kilonewton because positive uh, forces uh, not positive upward uh, force is positive for left hand side so mx again 11x uh, which is positive move because it is moving clockwise direction if you substitute you will be getting x equal to for x equal to 1 it is 11 kilo newton meter x equal to 0 it is 0 kilo newton meter so i hope uh, these calculations are clear now the 
नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू ड्रॉ दी शेयर फोर्स डायग्राम एंड बेंडिंग मूवमेंट डायग्राम सो दिस बीम आई हैव शोन ऑल दी फोर्सेस एंड लोड्स डिस्टेंसेस आल्सो सो जस्ट यू हैव टू ड्रॉ इट सो फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर स्पैन इट वाज हैविंग 11 किलो न्यूटन व्हिच वाज नेगेटिव इफ यू वांट टू हैव अगेन दिस values i can show here okay so it is having 11 kN so i have drawn 11 kN downwards because it is negative then there is no load again here so it is moving constant till e then at e again you have got minus 3 kN okay so this one minus 3 kN you have got again you have move upwards then again move horizontal because there is no load then you know, the value is 7 kN so the 7 again i am moving up here then again moving at a horizontal distance then in the last value again you are getting 11 kN which is positive so you are ending here so this is your shear force diagram for this particular beam okay so this side is positive this side is negative and the, all the numbers i have shown are without signs okay directly you can show the signs here and the next is bending moment diagram so this is your bending moment diagram so this is your uh, zero neutral line then so uh, again if you want i can show here so for uh, section eb it was having 22 kN meter so this uh, particular point it is 22 kN meter then again now uh, it is 25 then uh, again it comes to 11 and 0 so 25 11 and 0 note that the bending moment uh, values all bending moment values were positive so i have shown here positive value and i have shown here the numbers so this completes this uh, problem of simply supported beam carrying different point loads so i hope these calculations are clear and uh, if this uh, video was useful to you just uh, share with your friends and also like this video and don't forget to subscribe all about structural analysis and uh, design and also don't forget to press the bell icon for the latest notifications of my upcoming videos uh, in civil and structural engineering so thank you guys